can't think of anything. I'm sorry. I'd like to be able to, but I loved her. I do love her. And I actually can't right now deal with the idea that she's gone, that I might not ever wake up with her again or go on holiday because I think, sorry if this is a bit, but I think she's my soulmate. Stupid things like I love watching her eat. The way she eats is so... And she's funny. And beautiful and brave and, and like we were on the tube once, it was really crushed and there was this man. It wasn't like a tramp or anything, he was in a suit, he had a briefcase and she realised this man had taken his you know, his penis out through his flies and he was sort of rubbing it on her but the tube was so packed, you know, so people didn't notice but when she saw it she started shouting really loud, look at this chipolata! <laughs> so everyone was looking at them and you'd think that would be really embarrassing, wouldn't you? But I just loved that. Just fearless. And what happened is the whole tube together started chanting at him. We're all chanting together at this man, Chipolata, Chipolata. And I thought, I actually feel like part of something, you know? For the first time in my life, I actually feel like I'm part of something, like we people together can change things, people can stand up and stop shit things from happening because that's what it was like when I was with her. I felt connected to, to the world and all the things the world could be if we were just better versions of ourselves. So it's like that better world was sort of a shared space that exists in both our heads. So that was like a world that we lived in together that we'd have to make it. It was just for us. It was our secret. We had a secret and we lived in it together. And and that's it, really. Just really love her. <laughs>